Today we're trying to solve a very simple problem. This is my new favorite microcontroller. This is the RP2040-0. So I think it's based on a wave share design. It is an RP2040 microcontroller and um, two buttons and some memory. And it's in this really tiny form factor. This is like a great introduction to the RP2040 family because it is very small, but yet very powerful. My problem though, is that there are three rows of pins here. So it's not particularly breadboard friendly. I mean, you can set it up like this and that'll work. You have two pins, but then you're missing five of your pins there. And you can set it up like this, but now it doesn't fit in your breadboard. So how do we fix this problem? Well, follow me. You just head over to pcbway.com and order some of these adapter boards that I've made. So here's two of them. Let's take a look at what they look like. So these are essentially adapters to be able to put your RP2040-0 into these footprints here and then have proper pin spacing for popping this into a breadboard. I think this one is the one you're going to like, the uh, RP2040-0 mini adapter. Uh, and over here we've got the Mega. I'll talk about that in a, in a moment here. So essentially what this does is you've got your 5 volts and your ground and your 3v3 and then all of the GPIO that are on all these pins here. This is proper breadboard spacing and I believe you get about two spots on each side to breadboard your RP2040-0 projects. This one here though, this one is for the more hardcore. You see the RP2040-0 has pads underneath very, very small pads. And if you're the type of psycho that needs to use those pads in your projects instead of using a full size board, then I have broken out these pads for you right here. And it's these GPIOs here that you see under the parenthesis. I have to tell you though, this takes up way more room on your breadboard and this was hell to route the pads. So pretty much you're going to be looking at this adapter linked in the description and not this one. Let's take a look at one that's assembled. So here are some that I prepared earlier, uh, so you can see how well this works. Uh, to assemble them, for the Mega, you need uh, two uh, rows of 16 pin on the pin headers. And then uh, on the Mini, you need two rows of 12 pins. You see that's much more manageable here. And then to sit the board in, well, you can either solder the board directly to this and do all your prototyping on the same board, or uh, you can put a row of five pin female in the middle and then two rows of nine pin females uh, on the sides. They are all 0.1 inch apart from each other, so it's quite easy. Or if you don't have a five and nine, you can also use um, down here a seven row uh, female pin header and then two eights on the side. It's just easier to put it in the in the board and then solder it down. And for these rows of pin headers, I literally put them in the breadboard and soldered them from the breadboard. So let me just show you how easy this, this works. So if you can see right here, I've got uh, GP29 to GP11 uh, hooked up on this side with LEDs. And that would mean I have this row on the side, plus it goes almost to the middle here. So I'm using all this to breadboard and theoretically you can use every single pin, but I just hooked this up to my five volt source and then we're going to plug this into my little adapter here and it's pretty effortless. So it goes in and then there we go. It just counts down the LEDs. And the neat part is you can just lift this bad boy right out and pop it down into the mega. And it works just the same. So there we go. So that means you can use these pins that usually aren't accessible in the breadboard in a breadboard with plenty of space on the side like this you can squeeze two pins wide in here this one is uh, an actual two pin wide so i really recommend that you get this one you would only really get this one if you really need all of the pins on your board but don't forget you have to solder on the tiny tiny little pads which is not easy and so there you have it, um, two little PCBs. And I think especially this one here is going to be really useful for you guys prototyping at home. I went through the trouble of adding the GPIO markings on all of the pins. 
everything is routed properly. So I hope you guys will go to peaceboweight.com and order yourself a set. Thanks for watching.